Hi and welcome to a new video of Broken Window Theory. The video we bring to you this week is a bit different than usual. Quite a while ago, two companies that both make action cameras got in touch with us. Both Icantex IT and Apeman sent us their latest 4K cameras so we can test them. Which basically means we got them for free. Until then, the GoPro Hero 4 Black was our faithful companion. Since late 2015, we've been shooting our Urbex videos with this camera. But the Apeman A80 as well as the Icantex IT 4K action cam are way cheaper and both have great features. In this episode, we're comparing these three action cameras to find out which one is the best to shoot exploration videos. So, stay tuned. Hands down, action cams are great. They're small, offer good image quality for a low budget and they're extremely versatile. Seriously, they can be mounted nearly everywhere. You can basically shoot without holding the camera. So your hands are free, which is convenient while doing urbex. That's why it's very important for us to bring an action cam along on our explorations. As previously said, in this episode we're comparing the Icantex IT4K with the Apeman i80 and the GoPro Hero 4 Black. Although we got two of these cameras for free, this video reflects our honest opinion. We got no money from the manufacturers. So now we will compare several categories and before we're taking a closer look at the action cams, we start with the different box contents. Let's start with the camera of Icantex IT. What stands out immediately, there comes quite a number of additional equipment with the action cam. Different mounts, adapters, and adhesive pads. You can basically start right away and attach your camera on numerous surfaces. All of this equipment is compatible with other action cams as well. There's even a skeleton frame housing. This is quite useful if you're planning to use the audio of your recordings, because with the underwater housing you won't understand anything. We already used some of this stuff. That's why not everything is in the original packaging anymore. The Icantex IT4K camera comes with the second battery, and we were very happy about this. Quite useful is this camera remote. According to the manufacturer, it works up to a distance of 10 meters. You don't even have to set up anything, it works straight away. The only thing you need to do is to turn on your camera. Unfortunately, there's no charging device. There's only this USB cable. So you can charge the battery of the camera with a computer, or maybe your smartphone charger. You can get all of this for around 80 euros. This was the list price at the time we made this video. Let's take a look on what the camera of Apeman has to offer. Besides that badass name of course. Here the action cam comes in this handy case, which is pretty neat. When we are taking a look inside, you can see that we used some of this equipment in the past as well. But the content is similar to the gear that comes with the camera of Icantex IT. We can find several mounts here, adapters and adhesive pads too. And yes, there's even the second battery and the skeleton frame housing. But the charging unit is also missing, there's only the USB cable. Furthermore, there's no camera remote. But after all, we're very satisfied about the amount of box contents you can get for around 85 euros. Unfortunately, the GoPro can't keep up at all when it comes to box contents. There's only a small amount of equipment. You get the underwater housing, a few mounts and pads and a charging cable. That's it. No second battery, no skeleton frame housing and no remote control. And you have to pay, hold on to your heads, 300 euros and upwards. Even three years after the launch of this action camera, the GoPro Hero 4 Black is still that expensive. Cheeky or is the price justified? Let's take a closer look at those cameras. So this is the Icantex IT4K. We got it in blue, but of course this camera is also available in other colors. The perk of the version in baby blue, it's easy to find when you lose it. The pattern on the side gives the camera a good grip. We really like the display, however, this isn't a touch screen, but you can't expect that for 80 euros. The operation of the camera is easy and intuitive. The Icantex IT4K offers several resolutions like 4K or 1080p with up to 60fps and 720p with up to 120fps. Apart from that, the camera comes only with a few more settings. Picture settings like a flat image or ISO, for example, are completely missing. 
Our 8 mana 80 has been in action a couple of times already. This explains the fancy used look. It's the version of 2017. Meanwhile a successor has been released. It looks similar to the cam from Icontex IT. Both cameras are nearly identical in that regard. The 8 mana 80 has different modes too. By the way, you are able to watch your recordings with the A80 as well as with the Icontex IT4K. We reach the resolution settings again. Here you can choose between Ultra HD, Full HD and lower resolutions like it was possible with the other camera. But when it comes to the additional settings, you have way more possibilities with the 8 mana 80 For example, you can change the angle of view. This was shot in 70 degrees. You are able to go higher stepwise until you reach 170 degrees, which you can see now. Another sweet additional function is the gyroscope stabilization. In this shot, it's turned on. The camera was handheld while walking. Now you see the footage without the gyro. The image is a bit shakier. Now we reach the GoPro Hero 4 Black. From the outside, it looks similar to the other action cams. But here the micro SD card slot and the additional ports are covered. Besides that, there is no integrated display here. If you want a screen, you can buy one, which you plug into the camera. The Hero 4 is easy to use and you have multiple recording modes again, like video or photo. But the settings are even more extensive in comparison to the A80. Of course you can choose between several resolutions. It's even possible to shoot in 1080p with up to 120 fps. That's really cool for slow motion. Furthermore, you can shoot extremely flat images with a function called ProTune. As you can see, the contrast and saturation are really low. That's very neat for editing and we're using this all the time. When it comes to ISO, you have a wide range. However, now it's time to see those cameras in action. First of all, it's important to mention that the cameras of Icontex IT and Apeman aren't able to shoot true 4K. The chips of those action cams are only allowing a maximum resolution of 2K footage. So the 4K is interpolated, meaning the footage doesn't look as good as true 4K. However, the GoPro Hero 4 Black is capable of a good 4K resolution. So if you want to buy an action cam because of the Ultra HD, you need to spend quite some money. The best thing now would be to compare the footage of the camera with side-by-side -side shots. Therefore we built this improvised action camera holder, but hey guys, it's working. At first we realized that the Icontex IT4K is recording a smaller picture angle. Unfortunately you can't change that. You can only do this with the cameras of Apeman and GoPro. Besides that, the picture noise of the Icontex IT4K is pretty strong. Especially in low light, this doesn't look that good. The other two cameras can handle this better. But when it comes to chromatic aberrations, the Icontex IT4K is the better choice. For example, when you shoot windows with the 8 mana 80, you can see those violet image artifacts nearly all the time. Our GoPro has this problem very often as well. Only with the Icontex IT4K, those aberrations are more subtle. Another thing we don't like about the A80 is the high contrast you get when you're recording. In dark surroundings you lose plenty of details because of that and unfortunately you don't have the possibility to change something in the settings. Of course the GoPro Hero 4 Black offers the best image quality. But the footage of the two competitors is convincing as well. Here you've got some more shots, so you can see for yourselves.
the big weak spot of all three cameras is the battery. We have tested the maximum battery life of the action cams while shooting 4K footage. The camera of Icontex IT recorded around one and a half hour until it shut down. The 8 man A80 ran out of battery almost 15 minutes earlier. Our GoPro has also a battery capacity of approximately 1 hour and 15 minutes. But it was the one that heated the most in non-stop operation. It's important to say that the battery life of all the three cameras is depending on their use. Are you using the display? Is Wi-Fi activated? And so on. That way we never reach the maximum battery life during regular operation. Especially not when it's cold. For a discharging battery you don't even need freezing temperatures. It already happened several times to us that, for example, our GoPro ran only for a few minutes, although the battery had been charging the whole night before. But there is a perk that all action cameras have in common. The batteries are key. So if you're planning to buy one of the cameras we're showing, you should invest some money in backup batteries. Another advantage, you can charge all these cameras on the move, which means you just need a mobile power supply and the cable that comes with the cameras. Very important for videos is the sound. Right now I'm using the camera Icantex IT gave us and um, I would say it sounds quite okay. You can hear everything that happens in the close proximity around the camera. For example, stepping on this glass, hearing my voice and everything. But um, if you really want to use the sound of your recordings, you should definitely avoid using the underwater house because you won't hear a thing. The same applies on the Apeman A80 which I'm using right now. The audio quality of this camera is okay, but it could be better of course. Um, but to be honest, for a small budget like this, you won't get anything better. So, if you really need good audio quality for your Vlogs or something similar, you should definitely get an external mic. But an external mic is only working with this GoPro, because the other two cameras don't have any audio input. So uh, I'm recording with the Hero 4 Black right now, but I'm only using the internal mic. That's why the sound is okay too, but it's not ideal. Every action cam we're showing you here comes with its own app. Via Wi-Fi you can remote control your recorder. But in practice we are rarely using those apps. So we will only take a short look at them now. The app that works with the Icontex IT4K is called iSmartTV. Camera and smart device can be connected quite fast. You can view your recordings and change all the camera settings. All of this works fast and we haven't had any problems yet. Sensicam is the app for the 8 a 80 and it's a real problem child. The devices are connecting super fastly but the app is crashing all the time. And there are even more bugs. For example, you can shoot at a maximum resolution of full HD when you're using the app. All the resolutions above aren't working for some reason. If you don't want your app to crash, all you can use is the record button. At least this is working without troubles. In contrast to that, the app from GoPro is working really well. The connecting process takes a relatively long time, but the app runs stable. The big perk, due to the fact that the Hero 4 has no integrated display, you can use the app for a live view. With this app you can completely remote control the camera too, and change all the settings real quick. As a last point, we're taking a look at the photo function of those cameras. Probably no one is buying an action cam for the pictures. And that's a good thing. Mostly, it's not more than a neat additional option. These photos were taken with the Icantex IT4K. As you can see, all the pictures are over sharpened, which doesn't look nice at all. However, the chromatic aberrations aren't that obvious. Unlike with the Apeman A80, here those optical aberrations are pretty eye-catching. But all the photos are nice to look at and are taken in a higher resolution. Even higher than the resolution of the pictures from our GoPro. But in line with our expectations, it offers the best image quality. Thanks to Protune, you can achieve great results when editing the images. But as we mentioned earlier, we don't place that much value on the photo function of the action cams. Up to this date, we have barely used it. To sum up, all we can say is each of these three cameras is quite good. 
Icontext IT and Apeman both deliver their action cams with a great amount of equipment for a small budget. If you're a beginner, we would recommend those cameras to you. However, both have their pros and cons, so you have to choose which one is the best for your needs. But if you're doing serious video production, you won't be satisfied with them. You probably need to grab a GoPro and spend even more money for all the additional gear. And that's it. That was our review of the Icontex IT4K versus GoPro Hero 4 Black versus Apeman A80. If you know any other action cam which you think is better than the ones we showed you in this video, please let us know in the comment section down below. And if you like the Icontex IT4K that much that you're planning to buy it now, we've got some good news for you. The manufacturer has a special offer right now and sells the camera for a low price. But the discount is only available for a limited time, so better be fast. Take a look in the video description to find out all the info. And make sure to tune in next week when we upload another epic Urbex adventure. Stay safe guys. We hope you liked this bonus video. If you want to see more abandoned places, you should subscribe to this channel. And for updates and photos of our journeys, you should take a look on our social media pages like Facebook and Instagram.